Wander just remember it's 1.30 a.m. Oh, I am I am quite tired. I'm just in kind of like uh hang out and play Warframe for a little. It's fun though. I don't know. This this is totally like one of my zone out and just relax games. Always will be. I think in terms of like sheer amount of time, uh not time. Holy shit, yeah. Warframe is the longest running series on my channel by like a significant margin. I don't think I don't think any of the other uh series I've ever done have lasted this long. And I'm like getting up there to 200 uh I'm getting up there to 200 uh Oh god damn it, I forgot about my carrier again. Whatever, defection missions are quick. And pistol ammo is plentiful. And I've got Peacemaker, not garbage. I don't know, whatever, we'll figure this out. Uh, oh, it's a hack your way in thing. I do tons of damage, but yeah, I'm uh, in kind of this weird, awkward spot here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Here's the... We just hang out here until we find find the first squad. Ah, uh, train. Yeah, it's getting up there. Like, we're at, we're at 200 episodes. Like, this... Give it a couple years and this probably will have the highest number of episodes out of all of them. I'm fine with that, actually. I, I really like, uh... I really like Warframe, and it, it's definitely one of those series that... I will keep doing probably off and on. I, I'm not going to be super consistent with it. There will be there will be month long gaps sometimes, kind of based on um, kind of based on well, a lot of a lot of things. Really, it's just kind of waiting for the updates. Uh, I know this this run, this like kind of mid series is probably going to last into July, and then it's probably going to peter off again because. Uh, Nothing is coming out in, in June, which is nice. Uh, the combination of E3 and the Steam, Steam Summer Sale uh, make it a lot easier on me to um, make it a lot easier on me to just kind of like uh, fit in a couple of the series that I'd normally never be able to finish, or you know, kind of normally I wouldn't cover because I'm just so busy. Also one of those where I'm kind of finishing some things. It is nice finishing games. I, growing up, uh, growing up, I guess also just in college, I don't know, I was I was always one of those people that would pick up games, I'd never finish them. And even, even like now, uh, even though like I'm professionally incentivized uh, to finish as many series as possible, I do find myself always seeking out kind of these like endless series that I can just pick up and put down freely because some games just, like, never finish. Like, Persona 5, great game, but, like, it was so much more of a slog finishing Persona 5 uh, than it ever is, like, playing Warframe. I think it's a, a lot of it just has to do with raw gameplay. Uh, say what you want about the infinite grind, but it is... It is satisfying just running around and picking a new gun and just be like, you die from goo today. This is your first time wa you watched the Wanderbot Switch stream. Well, welcome. I am. I am. This is like the. This is the after show. This is the. Wander is borderline delirious. I've been going for about how many hours now? Nine and a half. I'm actually gonna probably go for about ten hours again today. Oof. I was sick for sick. I don't know. I kind of hurt myself. Uh, fatigue and other things. No. Exactly. I don't have a very good track record of keeping, uh, taking care of myself, but I'm looking forward to. I'm looking into uh, to getting a uh, a new apartment. We're looking at like potentially moving to like Seattle or Portland or something, so I could be closer to Bird and my friends and whatnot. Uh, this is tough. The problem is like uh, Portland and Seattle are, are stat stats states or states cities uh, that are like really popular to move to now. So. I was looking at the average like cost of rent around those areas and it's gone up by like 50% in the last three years and I'm like, 
Ooh, I could get really expensive really fast, and I don't trust YouTube to, like, be a consistent uh, income source, so I'm always, like, scared about that. Do I have to worry about power? No, I'm just going to head out towards B and just do whatever. I'm stuck. Ow. Ow. Ooh. These guys hurt. Then again, I guess Mesa really does not have a whole lot of shields. So I'm not building her to have a whole lot of shields. I do want to get the uh, the Umbral mods up. Getting getting those maxed are probably going to be the first three things. I'd like to work on some of my other primed mods. But having maxed out Umbral mods are going to make me uh, one hell of a beast on all of my characters. And it would give me a chance to play like... Where's C? He is like down over here somewhere. I'm betting we have to go go for C. This is no, we're not even on the last squad yet. I'll just hang out near B. I think we might get another crew of survivors. Over where? Over near Chakira. Oh, oh, okay. And here's the other squad of survivors. Oh, down below me. Uh, how much do I got? I got enough shots on my Atomos. First time I ever did this mission mission type, I was like legitimately mad at the other people I was playing with. Because they, they didn't even like protect. They were just like, we're just going to go fight dudes for a while. And I'm like, so uh, about those guys we need to save. And they're like, you do it. I'm like, I that's the mission. Oh, I was so mad. I was really mad. What an umbral mag. Dude, they're... Oh, man. Warframe is going to make bank. Having all the umbral versions of frames, though. I kind of hope they don't have umbrals of everything. I'd actually really like it if they, they alternated between umbrals and primes after a while. Because the problem is, like, I'm not really going to want an umbral frost and a prime frost. Unless there's, like, a really noticeable difference. Uh... I'd almost like it, actually, if uh, um, uh, Excalibur Umbra was one of the only... Uh, it was one of the only, um, like, original frames to be made Umbra, and then have, like, a bunch of new Umbra frames that get added instead. I like it how I am being that person that I got mad at. Then again, I'm trying to stick in the area. I don't know. Umbra for things like Nidus would be cool. Yeah, uh, some of the kind of, like, bizarro frames that, like... Don't really make sense as, um... As Prime. Because Nidus Prime makes no sense. Um, Nidus Umbra or Umbra Nidus makes a lot of sense. Uh, what would be another... One. I'm trying to trying to think of kind of the more bizarro frames. Gara makes sense as a prime. She would look really good with like kind of this gold glass look. No mods. I mean, the whip whip chain Kavat lady, who's Cora. Cora. She seems like she would be uh she'd be a good Umbra. Honestly, Limbo. Would have probably made a decent Umbra, honestly. Oh, we're leaving. Ah. Umbra for Chroma. Chroma Umbra would be cool, yeah. Because technically there is Excal Prime and Umbra Prime, but like... Or Umbra. Excal Umbra. But almost nobody has Excal Prime. I could have, had I felt like paying for it, but I was a college student. That would have been a bad idea. Umbra variation of the upcoming Vampire Warframe. Yeah, that would be... That would work perfectly. I'm trying to think of other stuff. Coming up with blanks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we, do we keep with Mesa? 
Or do I switch? I'll keep with I'll keep with Mesa. We might as well get these regulators maxed out. Umbral Gara would make sense. Yeah, kind of. I guess actually, yeah, Umbral Gara would make a lot of sense because she was on the planes and dealing with the sentience very specifically. I'm bringing uh, frames instead of priming them for lore reasons, meaning they couldn't. Would be kind of cool. Too late for Valkyr though. Yeah, Valkyr would have been a good one. And to some lesser degree, Ember. Okay, so we're going to switch away the Tiburon Prime. Probably want to go back to my Tigris Prime. Because I want to get this thing maxed out. Oh god, that Tigris Vexican. Multi-shot and electricity. Not exactly the most exciting of mods, but very worthwhile. Uh, let's see. No, that's not what I want to do. Mods. Huh. I could actually afford that. It'll set me back. I really gotta buy those Ayatin sculptures, sculptures, or the fusion mods. I don't really know which one that I want to go with. Titanian Inneros would, uh, could have been Umbra. Maybe? It would feel weird to have Titania... Well, no, I guess it wouldn't be that weird for Titania to be Umbra. Obron, Obron and Titania would have been a cool Umbra pair. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to decide if this is worth it. Nah. Yeah, actually. This is... I know I was using my Opticore, but I think I'm going to just use my, my Tigris. For, um... For things. Oof, you are pricey. Let's get rid of... No, let's keep that. Oh, we already have the Hell's Chamber. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Do we... Seeking Fury is no good. Accelerated Blast? Nah. I'm Ravage. Well, this... This sucker's a status gun. I guess we could do, uh, Vicious Spread. I don't actually know if that one's particularly helpful. Uh, I'll go with this for now. It'll probably be fine. I'd like to get the Tigris Vexican in. But it's no good. Okay, what else do we have? I ha Oh, I still have the Kesh Egg. I might as well level that one up. Okay, and I'll keep with the Atomos just because. And remember, put on your Carrier Prime. Because otherwise you're going to run out of ammo, and that'll suck. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Could you carry me through the game? Probably not. Uh, if you can get to the point where you get, uh, you could do like Sanctuary Onslaught, I wouldn't mind having you join me. But I don't really carry people through this game. The idea of it would be cool uh, to like kind of help people through. But the problem is uh, everybody would be at different points, and I don't want to do one on one. Um, maybe if I ever like convince Shell or somebody else, like another YouTuber, to play through, I wouldn't mind like trucking a couple of newbies up through the game. Um, but honestly, I've got such a long road ahead of me, like, you'd think I'm at endgame and I'm, like, satisfied with where I am, but I honestly have, it would be almost faster for you to catch up to me than it would be for me to, uh, achieve my goals in this game, you know, maxing out those primed mods, because that is going to take forever. I should probably actually get a resource booster now that I'm thinking about it, that'll, that'll at least kind of offset it a little bit. It reminded me to do that when we're uh, when we're done with this. I'll just get a 30-day resource booster. Carrot carrier looks so much better. It does, but like, okay. So this is this is actually. Uh, Jeez. I should have my list of, like, dumb grievances for Warframe. Because I have a list of really stupid grievances that mean mean nothing and, like, would be so cool if they got, uh, they got addressed. I really don't like, uh, the, uh, Sentinels. I think they're kind of dumb. 
Um, I don't hate them. The problem with the Sentinels is they end up being this, um, this kind of awkward thing that's floating in front of your camera. And I wish they flo floated closer to the, uh, the player camera, uh, or the player character. Like, if it was much closer to your frame, it would actually look much nicer. It'd be kind of distracting, but at the same time, like, I don't like the fact that I have this thing that's constantly in front of the... It, it's like a fly. Uh, like, if you're outside and you've got, like, a fly buzzing your face, and you're like, get... Go away, go away. I, I, I don't want, I don't want you there. Like, that's how I feel about my, um, my, my Sentinel. If I could... If I could have the option of paying like 10 bucks to just have my carrier be like a set of like um, kind of decorative things hanging off my shoulders, I would pay 10 bucks for that. Like just a skin that uh, makes it look like a mag from uh, Fantasy Star Online. Done. I would pay good money for that one. Just, just one because mags look amazing. Look up Fantasy Star Online. Like mags would look so cool in Warframe and like honestly would look better than the, the standard carrier. Your symbols fly closer to your screen than what you're seeing on your screen. That's weird. Please, please tell me your secrets because, like, it's actually really inconvenient uh, having this stupid bird just floating around. But yeah, I highly recommend, like, look up what uh, what a mag looks like from Fantasy Star Online. And you will know exactly why I'm always a little bit disappointed with the Sentinels in this game. That's not bad. It just could be so much cooler, potentially. Let's see, how many waves are we going? Uh, let's see. We did... Uh, let's do ten? I mean, we could do less. If you want to piecemeal it, I'm down. Um... Because I, I don't know uh, how far you guys need to go. My Tigris and my Keshegg are completely unranked and uh, will take about nine waves to go. But if you guys are about to uh, rank up one of your weapons, then we can easily do... Uh... We could easily do like a, a shorter uh, segment and then a longer segment. I don't know if we can make it to 10. Okay, why don't we do, um, why don't we do, like, two sets of four, then? I don't know how the, uh, the reward pools work. Because, like, uh, we could do four and six, we could just do fours. Uh. So, no, I love the longer the longer we go. But, yeah, if it's, if it's gonna be a survivability problem... I'm down, down with doing whatever. I just know specifically my mace is gonna live a little bit longer than last time. Who's that? Oh, it's like one of those little guys just kind of hanging out down there. Your reward every two waves. That's it. Nothing else. Huh. All right. You've been spoiled by vacuum, it's hard to play without it. Yep, that's why I've never used uh, Kavats and stuff like that. I do like uh, Gara for that reason, actually. The fact that she just has a built-in Kavat is really nice. Hmm. Keeping that dial below uh, the minimap is an issue. Uh, is the efficiency just for how, how much we're killing, or do we have to... We have to... I actually don't know how the efficiency system works. I assume it's just based on kills. Uh, but I actually... I know nothing about how it works. I just kind of go. Hora, not Gara. Sorry, my Brad. My bad. My Brad. My Brad. My Brad. Oh my god. I don't know if I'll ever do it. Efficiency is based on kills, but it goes down faster and faster. Okay. I'll pay more attention to that. I just know that uh, I'm pretty good at killing like hordes of enemies pretty quick up into the levels. Uh, up into like high-ish levels? It gets a bit tougher uh, if there's ancients.
So, uh, the reason- the reason why I reacted to the my brand thing is, um... I was, uh, I was watching, uh, well, I was reading Reddit, and I don't know how many of you guys read Reddit or anything like that, but every once in a while there's, uh, there's a gif of this really goofy-looking, um, Commander Shepard from Mass Effect 3, I think it is? Um, and it looks, like, actually horrifying. It looks like somebody put a boot in his skull and then just kept it there. Um... And it looks really, really stupid and really funny. And I really want to do a very short-lived Mass Effect series. I don't think I'd play through the Mass Effect games just because they've disappointed me uh, so thoroughly. Over the, um... Over the years, like, Andromeda just wasn't great. But I would really enjoy just playing through the intros of, uh... I'd really enjoy playing through the intros of... I'm dying. I still die. I kinda... I kinda hate... Noxes. They suck. Doesn't matter what gun I'm using, they always just never die. Can't stunlock them either. Oh, there's an overlord of anatomy. That shit's great. Dude, uh, we can... I can try and go find... Uh, find out what this guy looks like. Uh, like, we can take a look at a clip of it later. It, um... It's actually horrifying. How, like, weird he is. And I really want to do it myself. Okay, rest in peace, Mesa fire rate. I don't know why it's so low. I, I turned it down a little, but then I added some more fire rate mods, I thought. Maybe it, maybe it is turned down. Really low. I'll, I'll double check it between runs. I mean, we're we're still forming the uh, regulators. I don't really. I don't know. It'll take a bit. Andromeda was not a good idea. Andromeda was a good idea, but they phoned it in. They phoned it in so hard that like it barely even played like a Mass Effect game. It had some good ideas, like the verticality from the jetpack was really cool, and the idea of going to a new uh, solar system to kind of escape the uh, inevitable plot holes left by Mass Effect 3. Decent idea as well. The main problems were the fact that it was written terribly and too bloated for its own good. And buggy. Like, I, I used to love EA. I think I've actually, I've definitely had this rant. I want to say about like 20 episodes ago in Warframe. Uh, but like... I was watching the EA, um, I was watching the EA E3 press conference, and I have to say, I was not thrilled with any of the things that EA itself is developing. The only things that EA is doing anymore that excites me is the occasional indie game that they seem to have kind of under their wing. So, like, Unravel. I really liked Unravel. Uh, Unravel 2 specifically, like, did a full series on it over the course of the last week, and that was... It was great. It was really fun. Um, and then there's also, like, Sea of Solitude and I think, like, one other game. Maybe? And then otherwise, it's, like, Battlefield. Eh. Chip, what other, like, first-party games do they have? Anthem? Like, okay, I'm probably gonna play Anthem. I don't think I'm going to like Anthem because I've played enough Warframe and enough other cooperative shooters that it's just not going to fe feel interesting to me. That said, if it turns out to be, like, an, ama uh, an amazing game, I will absolutely enjoy. Uh, are we leaving after this round? Uh, yeah, we can probably leave after this round and come back in. Oh, I should probably put shields on before I die. Oh. Let me check. I w really should tell me how much my guys have leveled. Yeah, we can leave after this round. And then do one more uh, quick run. I really like the Bastion music in the background. Yeah. I really like Bastion. Someday I'll do a series on it. Uh, honestly, I said a while back that if I ever do a series on Bastion, it will be my last series. I don't know if that's going to be true. I might I might just uh, cover it at some point when I feel uh, 
like I want to do something else. Anthem looks promising, but I don't know how to hold out much hope of it being the next great thing or anything. I mean, if it turns out to be kind of an enjoyable co-op game, then I, I will gladly play it. I'm just so afraid that it's going to be one of those games that you, you load up Anthem and you're like, okay, cool, let's, let's play Anthem for a while, and it's like, you know, behind grind walls and pay walls and all sorts of things. I guess it's not too far off what Warframe is, but like, there's a marked difference between what uh, Digital Extremes is and what e EA is. Let's see. Uh, so I was going to get, not Stunning Speed, Lethal Torrent on. Now we have enough for four, eight, 11? 11 slots left. So that actually probably be, be good enough. I wonder if this accuracy affect this at all. Because currently I've got Creeping Bullseye on, which is probably why it fires so freaking slow. I don't actually know. All right, whatever. We'll be able to fit on um, probably just Deep Freeze will be the last one. Either that or Magnum Force. I wanted to take a look at Peacemaker. Go back a couple. It is not letting me. Info. No, it doesn't look like accuracy has any effect on Peacemaker. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do that one. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if talked about Fallout 76 that much. Uh, I have. I was talking about it when I was playing uh, Slay the Spire a couple hours ago. Hours ago? Like an hour ago or so. Um, I'm tentatively looking forward to Fallout 76. The idea of a multiplayer Fallout game with a lot of sandboxy elements is really cool to me. The thing I'm always terrified about is... Um, I am absolutely terrified that, uh, I, I'm absolutely terrified that a, uh, it's going to be Rust. I don't like Rust. I don't enjoy Rust. Now, if it ended up playing something like, uh, Conan, where it's, like, private server and you can set, you can set whatever the, uh, difficulty settings are, yeah, count me in. I, re I actually really like Conan Exiles. I kind of hated it the first time I played it because it was just like, this is kind of boring. And then I turned up the EXP rate. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is just kind of a fun action game. With a couple of bits that I don't care for, but whatever. Okay, yeah, Mesa's 4 does not miss. Okay, this is much more effective. This is what I was looking for with the character. Okay, so we'll, we'll probably throw in, uh, Lethal, well, not Lethal Torrent, whatever the other one is instead of Creeping Bullseye. The, honestly, that is actually fast enough that I probably don't need to worry about it. Let's see. But yeah, if uh, Fallout 76 uh, ends up having private servers or, like, you can set a private lobby or something, then hell yeah, count me in. I just... This is gonna sound stupid, probably. Well, no, maybe not. I've played a number of uh, PvP-ish MMO, MMO-ish experiences. So, you know, Rust, I played Rust, we had a griefer, locked us in a tower, and I pretty much quit. And then the server wiped all of our progress and was like, you know, what was, what was any of the point, what was the point of any of this? Like, that wasn't, that wasn't actually very fun. Um, like, I really did not enjoy uh, playing Rust that much. The idea of, like, making a base with friends is cool, and I liked it when it had zombies, because that was something that I could, like, be afraid of. Uh, but then it was just like, oh, yeah, we're getting rid of the zombies, now it's just other players, and I'm like, uh, not really what I want to do. Um, you know, I'd, I'd much rather play a, just a four-player cooperative game. I don't want to run into... Honestly, I, w I don't want to run into half of you guys. Not... Like, this is not to, like... I don't want to, like, say besmirch, but, like... 
you know, I just want to have kind of a quiet experience. I don't want somebody to show up and be like, hey, you're Wanderbot, and then shoot me in the face. Because uh, that's bound to happen. Either I'd end up with a posse, or I'd get griefed immediately because people want to see my reaction on YouTube. Um, which is not great. Hey, thank you, Firestone, for the resub. I haven't been recognized that much on the internet, which is good. Feels good as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, so I used to play uh, World of Warcraft. For whatever reason, uh, the first server I ever played on uh, World of Warcraft was a PvP server, and it was awful. Like, it was, it was downright not fun. I remember just running along. I was playing a gnomish wizard of all things. Uh, I was just running along and being like, okay, let's, um, uh, let's, you know, go, go, was I in the, the wetlands or something? I was, I was in like, um, I was south of Dun Dunmoreau and, you know, it was kind of just a, a quiet place. And this is, this was in Burning Crusade. Was it? No, this is the tail end of Vanilla, actually, before Burning Crusade even came out. Um, and, uh, I was wandering under the wetlands, leveling up, really boring stuff at the time, because this is back when leveling was still as slow as it ever was. And, um... And straight up, this level 60, uh, rogue, I think it was an undead rogue, found me, knew where my corpse was it a... No. No, it was a rogue first, and that was a hunter. I think it was a pair of them. Because hunters can track humanoids, I believe it was. I don't know, they always knew where I was. Uh, and I didn't have any stealth abilities or really a teleporter or anything like that. And I didn't want to deal with the 10, 10 minute death penalty because that sucks. So I was trying to sneak away from them. And it was like a long corpse run too. Like it was not fun because this is, you know, back before running back as a ghost was faster too. Back in my day, you had to run the long way. No, seriously, like early WoW was not enjoyable when it came to like griefing and like dealing with people being shitheads to you. And so I've always, like, kind of made it a policy to avoid that, avoid that as much as possible, because it's just not fun. Um, so from what I heard, it, uh, that will be a thing, except for you've got to agree to P PvP. Otherwise, they kill you once, you respawn 10 feet, o feet away and get a 10 minute invulnerability to that person. So then, uh, that's still not, that's still not a good solution. Like, okay, it is a good solution, Comparatively, like that's better than a lot of other games, but I, I would still say I get pissed off about that. You know, somebody, somebody snipes me, and then I respawn ten feet away. But like, that's still an interruption. Imagine if you were, uh, you were walking to um, Chipotle, and some guy just comes along, kicks you in the shins, and then um, you know runs away. And like, now your shins have been kicked, and it just like. Okay, fine. It just hurts a bit. And it's just kind of frustrating. But, like, I didn't want that. Whereas, like, conversely, I would absolutely, like, shell out some money uh, to get, like, a, a co-server so that uh, my group of friends stumped and maybe, like, one or two other groups of people could all, like, have a private server to run around on and, like, run into each other and kind of have this, like, emergent gameplay situation going on. Like, that would be cool. I'd be fine with that. But I don't want it to be just, like, random internet person. Because that's not as interesting. Because it's absolutely... Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have seen my, um... My Dark Souls 2 run, the Holy Ravioli. But we had a griefer for, I want to say, like, almost a month. He was literally... Like, he would, I, I assume what he does is he just haunts the Twitch streaming section and tries to, uh... Tries to specifically hunt you down. And, uh, so if you're, if you're streaming Dark Souls 2, he will find you, and he will kill you, because he's hacking. Uh, we killed him a couple of times, but for the most part, like, it was relentless. And Dark Souls 2 is supposed to make it that you don't get invaded by the same person repeatedly. Uh, not so, he would do it repeatedly, and it sucked. Um, and so, like, the idea of being in a position where that could happen to me while I'm trying to record a series is not enjoyable. It can work. And it can absolutely work with some people, but for me, like, I'm not... 
I'm not there for the uh, for the PvP stuff. I'm there to explore the world and have some fun. And the idea of potentially, like, if I say one of the stream Fallout 76, uh, and having it be like, oh, by the way, every stream sniper is going to visit you at least once during the stream. Ooh. I would not want that. Like, uh, I guess the easy question would be, how many, uh, how many other people are streaming Warframe right now? Because I assume, I assume it's like, you know, 10, 20 channels, maybe 30. Uh, it might be a little bit more popular because the sacrifice just came out, but there's not a whole lot of content to it. And yeah, that Dark Souls griefer was bad. It was awful. Um... Uh, let's see. But like, imagine if, uh, imagine if there was a mode where you could just randomly, uh, invade somebody's, uh, session of Warframe and attack them. Kind of, kind of like, um, the Stalker, you know, Hunhau or whatever. Uh, uh, ten people with more than thirty people watching. Okay. Yeah, imagine if somebody could go down that list and attack them. And there's a 10-minute cooler uh, cooldown on when they can attack. So every 10 minutes you get attacked by the this one person, and then they move, to, move on to the next stream. Because there's a very real possibility we'll end up with uh, some hacky business here and there. To make it, you know, even more unpalatable. I don't know. I am... I might be taking the, like, extremist approach to a lot of this, but it, this is my, like, consistent fear. Because, yeah, I want to be excited for Fallout 76, but I also... I can also see it going very badly. Because, has, um... Have they ever made a multiplayer game before? I'm not saying that they can't do it, but, like, usually first-time multiplayer, uh... is... Bad. Like, it takes a little bit. I gotta remember all the problems that Destiny ran into. Uh, the first time Destiny came out, all those, like, weird exploits and problems and, uh, whatnot. And, like, I can't... Uh, I'm, I'm worried that it'll turn into one of those situations where they're like, well, we don't have private servers, but we also can't deal with those, all those hackers, so just bear with us until the patch two months from now. Because, yeah, turnaround on AAA is kind of rough sometimes. Uh, I know PUBG has certainly had, like, its fair share of uh, controversy over, like, not patching major exploits and whatnot. That, like, uh, there has been no small number of, like, cheaters and exploits that have gone through. And uh, there's kind of that, that constant fear of, like, these... These, some of these might never get fixed, and uh, well, that's that's just not going to be pleasant. Also, does Peacemaker do like pure damage? Because like it, it certainly feels like it's um a little bit stronger. Well, I mean, it's way stronger than my guns. Knowing Bethesda, they'll just wait for the modding community to fix their game for them. Yeah, see, that's that's what I'm so afraid of. But Bethesda has a terrible track record for this stuff. Uh, I mean, how many game-breaking bugs made it from Skyrim to Skyrim Special Edition? I'm fairly certain there were quite a number of them. Um, and, like, that's scary. And if they if they do something like uh, have VAC enabled, I, I don't know how many of you guys know about this, but, like, a number of people were VAC banned um, for Dark Souls 2. Because hackers were, like, messing with their character's game code and just all sorts of little horrid dicker in. It's just like, I... I am afraid of other people. You have encountered a bug. Oh, did you get... did you get booted? No, you're just not here. Okay, we'll just, uh, pull out after this one. I don't really care about the rewards.
But so that is the many long, that's the extremely long list of why, uh, that's the extremely long list of why I'm scared of, scared of Fallout 76, but will gladly play it anyway. And just cross my fingers that it's good. Oh, it's black screen. The UI is still there. Huh. Yeah, because you're not here at all. Well, we'll just pull out after this one. It's totally fine. What other uh, what other games were there that I'm like tangentially interested in? I mean, a lot of the like kind of single player -y things. I really hope the uh, the new From Software like ninja game with the grappling hook and whatnot uh, is multiplayer. I don't really enjoy From Software games uh, solo that much. I'll probably play it anyway. I mean, at some point, I, I really would love to sit down and play. Uh, really love to sit down and play Bloodborne, but gotta wait for either Bird to pick up a PS4. Or just play it with Keith anyway, but I don't know. I think Dark Souls alone with Keith is I'm not gonna say miserable, it's actually perfectly fine. But uh I can only take so much crippling inadequacy before I get kind of sick of it. Saw a Fem Famitsu interview, no multiplayer. I mean, it might actually be more balanced that way, but I know like from software's games tend to be kind of extremely merciless. And like that was my problem with Neo, is like I don't really want to play Neo solo. Uh I don't want to play Neo solo just because uh, they like locked down the co-op at the last second. Okay. Well, let's see. Am I gonna play Detroit Become Human? Um, a lot of people have asked that one. I don't know. I might play it. I just... Time? Time is always the problem. I don't know if I have enough time. It is... It ranks very high on the list of games that I would like to cover if I had time to do so. 